Hello everybody, PJAC77 here and welcome back to our walkthrough of The Wolf Among Us. We left off the last session with Georgie Porgy. Uh, just found a key to the safe, so let's get to it and see what's in that safe. Come on, Nate. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. You might want to stand back. All right, all right, all right. Bloody come on, then. Prick. Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so we can be happy about that. Here. This is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie. Who's this Mr. Smith? Oh, dear. I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Hans knows that. What's 207? Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. This is your book. Your girl. I'm not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I log the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. Hello? Business office? Yeah, that's right. been busted open. Broken open, but there isn't even a lock. Lipstick, lip gloss, compact, glitter. Faith. Faith, thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Lily. Looks like they both saw one of Lily's clients. Excuse me. I heard you out there. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. I didn't have a reason to come here before. Yeah. You're trying to place me. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Once upon a time. Does that help? You have legs. Had a glamour? No, they're real. Do you like them? They cost me a lot. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. Does the number 207 mean anything to you? 
I assumed it was a room number, but where? We can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. It's how things work here. People keep using those phrases. What does it mean? This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. These lips. Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me? Okay. What would I need to do? I need 150. It's not good to be short. I'm kind of broke. Wait here for a second. Seven? You'll think of something. The open arms. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. I should probably repair that. If the rooms are anything like the lobby, I should cut their rates. Keep your pants on, buddy. You have to check in first if you want a room. So come on, mosey on back and we'll get you set up. I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So, now you know. I know I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind if you knew. Beast is a proud man, Bigby. He wants to do right by me, and he, he just couldn't handle it if he knew I had to do this so we don't get evicted. You should really tell Beast. He's worried about you. I will, I will. I just need to in my own time. By the way, thanks for covering for me. So, what are you doing here? Oh, 
You have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh. Oh, yes. The... the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but... she came off a tad intimidating. Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe... on a job? Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. I talked to Tweedledee earlier today. He mentioned you in passing. Do you know him? Or his brother? I took out a loan. For back pay. It was like our third notice. And ever since then, those annoying freaks have been pestering me for the money, plus interest. Why take out a loan from those two? It was from the crooked... man. Beauty. You don't know how desperate I was, Bigby. I had nowhere else to go. Look, if this ever happens again, come see me or Snow first, alright? I tried. Ever meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's, it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather... S sorry. Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her? You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. I just assumed it wasn't snow and went about my business. Thanks. Wait. It'll be better if anyone sees you that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. All right, I think we're going to end this session right there. We will pick up right from this spot on the next one. Uh, as always, thank you so much for joining me. And until next time, have a good one.